Yeah, the Embedded World 2018, and uh, who are you? Yeah, hi, my name is Wes Obel. I'm an account manager for Toradex, and I'm going to uh, introduce you to our partnership with Qt. Qt. Because we had the Qt booth, uh, Qt booth, and uh, there's uh, there's some demos right here running on some Toradex uh, boards, right? That's correct, yeah. Yeah, we've got demos here, so you can see this is a Toradex song running um, demo. I don't know. Uh, we, we can get an explanation here in a second, but four of these modules belong to Toradex, which is at the highest partnership level with Qt. Uh, this is a representative from Qt, Risto. Hello. Hey. My name is Risto Avila. I'm from the Qt company, and I'm part of the professional services uh, team. I'm leading the team, who is uh, responsible for creating the proof of concepts and all kind of demos and uh, customer products. So is it great to work with Toradex and making new concepts? Yeah, really. How? I have How enjoyed is that? I have enjoyed the flexibility of their boards and of course the support for the boards that I have been getting from them. Did you work on the the fastest car in the world project? Yes. Too? Yeah. <laughs> Did you do that one? Uh, yes, I have been also doing the fast boot demo and that was especially interesting since I started with the uh, NXP dev board and also continued with uh, with the battle of boards using the Toradex board, which was uh, in the end the faster one. So, um, which which cool demo do you have around here? Um, in here we have uh, uh, our basic setup of uh, Q4 device creation. So basically, the idea here is to demonstrate the IDE on the desktop that you can really easily deploy to to Toradex devices because we provide ready-made images for the Toradex. All right, and over there? Yep, uh, this is basically the same thing, uh, just a duplicate. And uh, in, uh, in this one, we are demonstrating the true 2D uh, cluster display. So basically, we have a NVIDIA board next to it, which is uh, doing the 3D stuff. And then we have the IMX6 uh, quad core from the Toradex doing the 2D version of the same same cluster. And so you say uh, ready-made, uh, is it one of the things, should we walk just over there yeah. for a second? Uh, is it one of the advantages of Qt that is everything is ready-made and every package and ready and, and just works? Yes, that's pretty much one of the advantages when you are using the Toradex board. So Toradex belongs to one of our partner groups and we do provide the ready-made Im images only for the Group 1 devices. What is that? That. <laughs> so this is the set? This is running Qt software? Yeah, that's also running Qt software. <laughs> so basically it's a, a tractor thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so they are uh, doing a, well, basically a concept with the UI, so you can fill around with the tractor. And uh, here's some fast boot. Um, it's something that uh, actually has been deployed, right? Yes. So this is a cute uh, application that has been actually deployed and it, uh, it also has a customized uh, bootloader and also a Linux kernel. So yeah, you can see that it, it starts quite fast. So whenever you see the first uh, bits on the screen, it's already coming from the Qt. So there is no splash screens or anything and it's running QML. That's really important when you start the car, you don't want to be waiting for a minute. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the kind of a point of the whole demo, to show that it's not cute that it's slow, and you can start really fast if you do the optimization right. And it also runs on one of the fastest uh, chipsets over here, right? Yeah, exactly. So basically, you just saw the NVIDIA version. This is now running uh, also on IMX8 from Toradex, so that's uh, our latest, greatest stuff. So basically, it's running the Q3D Studio. Uh, this is the Quad Max, by the way. This is yeah. the top of the line uh, IMX8 from an XP. Which Toradex has uh, early access to. That's this correct. One, yeah. and, uh, one of the select few to get early access to that. And uh, the companies that want to start projects with this can discuss maybe with NXP and get early access before it gets mass produced. Yeah, exactly. Here. Yeah, and you'll be helping. Yes, and Toradex were kind enough to actually provide us also early version of the IMX8 as well. Uh, so what's special? What makes Qt special? <laughs> it's not just cute, right? Yeah, it's not just cute, and it's not just a UI framework. So basically, it's a middleware framework that provides you a different kind of connectivity settings and 
connectivity stuff, so basically you are able to create uh, easily Bluetooth and uh, uh, NFC and network connected devices, for example. All right, yeah. so it's a very busy conference, the embedded world for you, right? Yeah. Cool. I'd like, I'd like to show you, uh, we have a partner here that's actually, thank you, yeah, thank you. that's Thanks. taken our technology and integrated it with Qt. So this is Peter from A Technology. Yes. And uh, Peter can explain how all of these technologies were put together in a real application. Hi, exactly. So, so I am Peter Anemat. I'm actually coming in from the Netherlands. And uh, well, I'm an engineer by training and we started this business 10 years ago. We've been working with Toradex for the past Six years now, I believe. Six years. And this company right here is A Technology? Yeah, A Technology. So what is that? Is it because you want to be number one on the list, or why do you say A Technology? Uh, it's basically because my last name starts with an A. It's a very simple. And also, we're like prime quality, so I felt like it sort of matched. Well, right. so and, right. And so what is this demo right here? So this is made for a retail store. Uh, this is actually like a, a sales suitcase, what you're seeing here. Whoa. That sales engineers take onto the road to actually demonstrate the product to supermarkets. You can close and open? Yeah, definitely. But um, let's keep it open for okay. now. <laughs> and there's actually two products being demonstrated here. First, you have like the shopping shelf. The real one is actually like one meter wide, which is uh, probably like 50 feet. And it has like a sort of, it, it, it shows products, it highlights products in a way that current supermarkets can't really do. So if like expensive one, it can really sort of... So a special display that one here, you say? Yeah, yeah. Very, uh, very long. Exactly, very small and long. And actually, there are three of these next to each other in the, in the actual product. So we got a smaller one for the demonstration purposes. And where does that go? In like a shelf in the yeah, store? Yeah, in maybe? a shopping shelf in the store, exactly, exactly. So that's like a mesmerizing shelf. People are just going to be staring at you, Exactly, right? and then it shows like, oh, this wine comes from these farms in France somewhere. And, it's, uh, and it's likely to upsell in that sense. And they, they are likely to be spending money in that store because they don't think that's a serious store. Exactly. They have something yeah. serious going on. So, so it's just a loop? Or do you, do you, are you At just doing point, a video player? Or? In this case, we're doing a video player, but in the actual application, there's like sensors beneath. When you actually pick up a product, the product responds to it, the shelf. Sensors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it actually shows you like, okay, you picked up this perfume, for example. And it's an offer now for this price, but you might also want to try this new perfume that's for similar. But it's... Um, Do you have that on the market? Or is it just... Perfect? It's on the market, yeah. You are shipping? It's, well, no, I'm not shipping. No, no, no. We, we, our business is like a consulting service. So we create products for clients and they're shipping. They're shipping? Yeah. And they're running with these... Um, Toradex units. These Toradex... Yeah. Which one is that? This is actually the wrong one. Yeah. Because uh, we're running on the Toradex uh, Emix 6DL. Yeah. Uh, which is the Colibri, actually. Yeah. And this is the UL, I believe. Okay. So it's uh, uh, we're using a little bit more powerful because we feel like... Where is the board in here? It's actually underneath this area here. So video player, but you have interactive stuff. Exactly. Uh, so you basically yeah. interactive trigger on the video, another video or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly, but locally. And what we also do for... Well, it could, but we decided to actually take it out because it will annoy people really quickly. And then we felt like, exactly, ping, you know, and you're like, oh. So, and, and then there's this display, which is completely different. And in the, in the actual market, it's being used in landscape mode. And it's actually a portable device. You can actually click onto a thing called a power reel and it locks in it. You can shove it around. The idea, like if you have your vegetables and you want to highlight your vegetables, for example, you can actually position them uh, properly and then show a video or demo about the farmers that are actually making the fruits or vegetables. Uh, and it's also running cute, it's also running the movie player, the movie player in this sense. Uh, there is no interaction in this model in that sense because it's all way high up for the customer. Um, and it's also on the market right now. So, yeah. So, uh, uh, if the customers want you to do more and more different stuff, you can just do it? Yeah. Yeah, because we do from retail what is this to laboratory example? equipment. This is a barcode scanner. So this is like an integrated Android device with a barcode scanner on top. Is there any Toradex in that or? Uh, no. No. So it's running Android. Yeah. And it has barcode scanner, camera. Yeah. Is this mass production? Um, let me double check. Because as typical as we demos go, yeah. I can actually see it on my hand that it's actually starting the barcode scan. Okay. And here's the service offering. 
Europe and North America, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, we have to limit it somehow, right? <laughs> yeah. You're based in uh, Holland or no? Uh, yes, our main office is in Holland, in Rotterdam. And we also have an office in London now. So we're, uh, we're total 12 capacity. Oh, mostly yeah. engineer? Mostly yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> so uh, okay. what, what is your role in the company? I am one of the founders. Uh, and basically, I try to manage all the projects, or most CTO, of them anyway. CEO, CEO. Ah, you don't really have a CTO, CEO. I believe in like a 12 people company. It's more like a managing partner. And, uh, that's it. And you're all busy all the time, so that means you have lots of work. To yeah. Do. yeah, yeah, yeah. We work basically, uh, well, 15 hours a day. So if you're looking for a job, <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. yeah. In uh, Amsterdam. Uh, Rotterdam. Rotterdam. The greatest poor city of the world. The greatest place to watch Federer play last month. That's true. Yeah, That's I wanted true. to go there. So, so actually, you're very happy to to work with Toradex. It's kind of like a cool yeah. thing for your company, right? It is. It actually allows us to really develop really quickly, you know, and I think it leverages our, our engineering power really in that sense. Is there any chance you want to work with this, the Quad Max? Definitely, definitely. What would you be doing with that? Well, there was actually someone approaching me for trying some more like image recognition to actually incorporate in an uh, in automotive situation. So, we we'll start with that and then let's see where it goes from there. Because you need like a powerful application to actually justify it, I believe. If you use it as a video player, I feel like, yeah. I did some videos with some uh, uh, Dutch uh, solar cars, like solar oh, powered cars. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can make them self driving. <laughs> self crashing, yes. Self driving, self -driving I have cars. to think about. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, somebody, I mean, any idea you. Yeah, anything yeah. Anything you'd like to do, you can do. So it's up to you. Yeah, right? no, that's true. It's true. But it's also always an investment. If you do something very complex to solve, it takes a lot of time, uh, obviously. And if you go for looking simple, like. And uh, bugs, you know how to fix them? The, all the bugs? There's lots of bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So you just debug. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, you guys to it's do like a crossword puzzle, really. You just go in it and you fix it. And yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. And, and uh, so thanks. So what's next? Uh, at Toradex is going to be busy in the next few months. Yes. Yeah. We've had an amazing amount of interest in the new IMX8 Quad Max, and uh, I, I think that when that becomes a production device, we're going to have a lot of opportunities. I mean, we're already lining up samples for customers to test, so it's it's a pretty exciting time. And uh, you're working on some uh, some content. On the on the official channels too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got we've got a web page devoted to it. We've got uh, information in our brochures. We're going to have some webinars. There's yeah. There's definitely going to be a lot of content available for that new I, the NXP IMX8 Quad Max, which is the highest end IMX8 processor that NXP has. Not to be confused.